but you are not trying to change China. I think one of the errors of uh, previous approaches to policy towards China has been a view that through U.S. policy, uh, we would bring about a fundamental transformation of the Chinese system. That is not the object of the Biden administration. 美国白宫国安顾问苏利文七日接受 CNN 专访，被问到美国在冷战期间的目标，遏制并迫使共产苏联变革。苏利文表示，拜登政府的目标不是要从根本上演变中国，美中两个大国在可预见的未来将在国际体系中共存运作。美国目标是塑造国际环境和规则，更符合理念相近民主国家的价值观，让规则与道路反映一个开放、公平、自由的印度太平洋地区和国际经济体系。以及让世界人权宣言的基本价值观和规则在国际机构中受到尊重。The object of the Biden administration is to shape the international environment so that it is more favorable to the interests and values of the United States and its allies and partners to like-minded democracies. It is not to bring about some fundamental transformation of China itself. 学界不少观点认为，美国长期对中共采取和平演变策略。一九七零年代起，扶助中共牵制苏共，后来伴随着绥靖姑息。但中国二十年来享受贸易最惠国待遇，又加入 WTO， 中共却没有改变。川普时期国务卿蓬佩奥可能角逐二零二四大选。他和苏利文都认为对中政策有错误，但看法似乎很不同。十月出席香港自由灯塔活动表示，美国对中共错了几十年。到了川普时期，才第一次调整并表态，中国共产党是非法政权，不会永存。It is precisely at the moment of the greatest hubris that the greatest risks exist. Pompeo 指出，中共对美国、对十四亿中国人来说都是最大威胁。中共自认和美国在战争状态至少已几十年，但美国两党迟迟没有下定决心。And that the Chinese Communist Party is at war at, with the United States, whether we want to be at war with them or not. Our most cherished values are at risk. The Chinese Communist Party has believed it was at war with our nation for at least a couple of decades now. They've taken advantage of American, the absence of American resolve. This was bipartisan. This will be a competition as we go forward. The goal here is not、uh, containment. It's not a new Cold War. 苏利文重申，美中之间是竞争，美方要在印太乃至全球设定有效竞争的条件。蓬佩奥则担心，拜登政府低估了中共的意图。中共不是竞争者，而是要把世界变成马列共产主义样貌的敌手。The fact that they claim they welcome civil consciousness is just so odd to say about the Chinese Communist Party. These aren't these aren't competitors. This is an adversary who has made clear they want the world to look like their Marxist-Leninist ideological world. 新唐尼亚泰电视黄亮简、张东旭整理报道。